So in the midst of these particular, uh, the season of Christmas, we have two cities, two towns rather, that are on opposite sides of the Holy Land. You have Nazareth, you have Bethlehem. Nazareth is where the incarnation happened. When Mary said yes, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Bethlehem is where Jesus Christ was born. But notice how it says in the gospel today, they return back to Nazareth. They return back to that yes of Mary. And that joy of Christmas that they experienced in Bethlehem, it's an invitation to continue that mystery of love that we experienced over these particular days in, in the Christmas mystery. That wonder, that awe of God becoming little and then becoming revealed to us during Christmas time. And now we're called to go back to Nazareth and to live out that mystery in the quiet intimacy of the Holy Family, of Nazareth. It's kind of like we have these big celebrations and there's excitement, there's joy. But it's supposed to go into a quiet stillness it becomes even more powerful, very much like a fire. When it first starts, it's raging. But then it goes down and down, and it seems like it's losing its power, but actually it's becoming richer. You can, you can cook, you can do all sorts of things on that kind of fire, versus one that's going like this. It's the same with our faith think of it in a certain sense. I'm watching The Mandalorian right now. And the power of a lightsaber could just be going everywhere. Or it can come down. And it seems like it's becoming weaker, but in fact it's becoming stronger. It's becoming more concentrated. And that's the mystery of Nazareth. That's the mystery of going into this town and experiencing the love and joy that were in Mary and Joseph as they're in the presence of the Lord, but it's the day-to-day -day experience of that. And in a very real way, it's the day-to-day -day experience of the mystery of love that can conquer fear, that can conquer doubt, that can conquer the, the struggles that we face. It's the mystery of love that can enter into those interrupted conversations, into those areas of needed reconciliation, into those areas that maybe during this year we got lost somewhere along the road. And it's the moment to come back to where it all started. The mystery of God becoming man doesn't start with Christmas. It starts in the Annunciation. Christmas is where we get to see. It's sort of like Pentecost is where the Holy Spirit shows himself. The Holy Spirit is poured out in the mystery of the cross in a hidden way. In that encounter under the cross of Mary and John, the mother and the son As we continue to walk this coming year, we only just have a couple days until we're in 2021. We're probably thinking all about, is it going to be better than 2020? And I invite you to not think so much about that. But think about the most important thing is regardless if it's a, if it's a good year, if it's a horrible year, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And as long as we continue to live the mystery of love in the quiet of Nazareth, then there's a peace, like an anchor. An anchor that St. Elizabeth Ann Seton would describe as something that made this silent stillness go on. In the midst of her sufferings, in the midst of her trials, 
she had some pretty bad years that would make 2020 look like just a, a, a walk in the park. She experienced, and her feast day is coming up on January 4th, she experienced the death of her husband, the death of several of her children to tuber tuberculosis. She experienced many different things, and she herself died of tuberculosis. She went through much suffering, much misunderstandings from others, persecution, rejection. And yet, because she knew God her Savior, and she lived the mystery, not of just the 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 the, the incredible sort of firework of Christmas, but she entered into the mystery of Nazareth. She's able to say, even in the midst of her sufferings, my soul's at rest. My help comes from the Lord. He's the maker of heaven and earth. And ultimately, she had her eyes fixed on heaven. So that when we have our eyes fixed on heaven, nothing in this world can shake that rest. So let's ask the Lord for this gift of Nazareth, that we might, like the child Jesus, grow strong, being filled with wisdom, allowing the favor and grace of God to be upon us.